Julian, something's not right with that Borg. That isn't our son. What is he? I don't know. Locking him up in that barn is what's best for him. I don't know what's gotten into you, boy, but leave our son alone. the hell out of here! My child is not a circus attraction, you sick bastards! Good evening. My name is Nathaniel Arkham. I work for the Miskatonic University here in Benwich. I saw strange happenings were occurring surrounding your son. If you'd be so kind, would you allow me to study him? You can have him, Professor. Kid ain't even mine anymore. He's a damn demon. I don't want to see these people coming onto my property, damn it! So you're telling me the bodies were ripped open? I see. The whole fucking house was covered in blood. My crew couldn't even stomach it. We've never even seen anything like it before. Can you tell me where the boy is? Hello there, young man. My name is Professor Arco, and you are? Isaac. How old are you, son? Nearly five years old. You're quite big for a boy your age. When did this start happening? Been this way since I was born. I see. But wh why did your parents have you out here on your lonesome? They don't like the way I look. Are you aware of what happened to your parents last night? Were you responsible for what happened? Yes. But it wasn't me who did that. It's like all the raging sounds left my body and left what I hate the most. They abandoned me. So I abandoned them. I see. Well, I don't fear you. I want to help you. Come with me, Isaac. I'll take you to a better place. Where is that, sir? The Miskatonic University of Dunwich.
I'm not your average professor, Isaac. I study and teach the abnormal happenings in our world. Here we have the fallen meteorite that landed in Maysville. This was before you were born. It infects nearby livestock and water supplies. What, what's that weird thing? It looks... It looks unnatural. It's what we call the color. I've done some studying on it and... Apparently it stretches and warps time. It drives people insane. Don't look at it for too long now. Quick. Follow my scientists to the laboratory. Don't let that strange light frighten you. It's the color. My fellow scientists and I have harnessed the energy of the color so that it benefits our research and doesn't harm us. It speaks to us in a way. As it reveals its true nature to us, we can see further back in time, visit places and times previously unfathomable. This abomination was brought here to the lab by a search party not too long ago. Found him on the shore a few miles away from Innsmouth. He's extremely hostile and prefers isolation. He can warp space and specializes in teleportation and telekinesis. I can do something similar. That is that what I am? I'm a monster. No. Not at all, boy. Because unlike you, this creature used his powers for evil and wrongdoing. With your permission, may I study these abilities you possess? I have a gut feeling that all these things, the color, the abomination, you, they're all connected in some way. Help me link together the pieces, Isaac. Sure. He appears to be mutating Professor Arkham. His brain waves are off the charge. I can't make any sense of this. Keep testing, just don't harm him. Professor Arkham, sir, is there any update on the sick boy you took in last week? The papers have been calling him a monster with special powers and is it true he murdered his own parents? How can the people of Dunwich feel safe with this being in our town? I'm happy to announce that I have begun testing on the boy. There's no reason to fear him. He possesses wild abilities, sure, but they are being controlled. They're being studied. This is what I've been trying to tell the press for years now. There are strange happenings in our world and I wish to get to the bottom of them. These happenings may even benefit us, if used correctly. You do realize you're harboring some sort of demon child, Professor? He is not a demon. He is but a young child. I'm running tests on him to find out what he's suffering from. He's a toddler in the body of a man, with heightened intelligence and a hearty vocabulary. But despite this, he's in pain. He's hurting. Perhaps if I could reverse it. You're harboring a child and performing experiments on him. His parents gave him to me. They didn't even want him. Do you have that in writing? No? Didn't think so. Plus, he murdered them for Christ's sake. Do the wise thing, Professor, and hand over that boy. If not, you can expect one angry mob on this campus by the end of the week.
Are you all right, Mr. Arkham? Are, are you all right? I, yes, Isaac. Just a nightmare. The police think I have you here against your will. They don't understand that I'm just trying to help you. What's going to happen? I have built up a respected reputation over the past decade. I will not let it be ruined by these fools. You spoke of a nightmare. I've been having that as well. Each time I have one, it's, it's, it's as if something's trying to call to me, like something wants to be woken up. What does it mean, Professor? I'm trying to make sense of it all, son. Uh, run along now, I must work. October 5th. I've had yet another nightmare. Giving me sensations I cannot explain or write out on paper. In the past, I've had visions of strange monolithic structures used to worship deities that our kind can't even begin to fathom. After studying strange happenings from Maysville to Innsmouth to Kingsport, I've come to the conclusion that there are things that we can never explain. But this nightmare, ah, this was different. Now Isaac is speaking of something similar. I fear that all these strange occurrences that I've studied are not just random acts of oddities, but rather a correlation of events that are leading to something bigger. As if there's a one above all controlling this. Poor Isaac. Is it the color poisoning us with these visions? Is this what the people of Maysville experienced? Perhaps I shouldn't reveal my findings to the public, for the very foundation of our existence would crumble. The fools. They'd probably end up worshipping it. Whatever it is. Do you want this terrifying creature in our town? Then let's shut this so-called university down, damn it! For far too long, the people have had to live with these scientist freaks in our town doing God knows what. The crops have been dying, weird unexplainable lights have been showing up all over the damn place. And we've been getting sick and dying. Enough is enough, fellas. October 15th. Day by day, progress is made with the boy, Isaac. But with each day, he keeps mutating into this hideous beast. The mere sight of him without his mask has driven two of my top scientists mad. I only caught a brief glimpse of the boy's face before he covered it up. Oh my god. It was covered in eyes. I don't know how to stop it. It's almost like he's growing possessed. He keeps reciting this ancient chant, as if he's worshipping some god. I've never seen anything like it. Is this god the one who's causing all of this? Is the color flooded lab enhancing this behavior of his? My scientists are growing ill, and I fear I may be losing my sanity due to the unusual nature of these events. I'm recording and documenting all my discoveries, keeping them locked away in old filing cabinets. Just in case something is to happen, my hard work won't be a waste. Alert Professor Arkham. The Sheriff and his mob are tearing down the place. Fucking scientists, bastards! Where's the kid? Where's the kid? It's me. They're gonna kill me. It's me. 
I will not allow that, Isaac. We're so close now. If only I could see these visions inside your head, it could all be solved. Show me, boy. Show me the true nature behind everything. Professor Arkham, sir. The abomination is acting strange. I've never seen anything like this. The entire lab security system is failing. I'm not getting a response from anyone. Code Red, Code Red, Code Red. I repeat, Code Red. Horrors are flooding the lab. Hand over the boy. Stop this at once. Hand over that boy. Never. You'll just hurt him. You don't realize what's coming, Sheriff. I have seen it. With my own eyes. What? What is this? Light? It's the color. Now you see it.
What the hell are you, freak? What have you done to this town? I saved them all. But you? You don't deserve salvation. You don't. Hey man, this town isn't on the map. Heh, <laughs> you're about the cult in these parts? <sighs> what cult? This town used to be huge. According to the legend, one night a monster came out of a crazy old scientist's lab and murdered nearly everyone. Man, do you really believe that stuff? Sounds like something out of an old horror movie. I'm serious. The survivors called the monster the Dunwich Horror. That's what this town used to be called. Oh yeah? And what does the monster look like? Nobody knows, man. It's said whoever looked at him went insane almost immediately. There's said to be a cult nearby that sacrifices people to appease their underwater god or something. Apparently, they learned about him through the scientist's drawings. People managed to get their hands on some of his work before the government came and raided everything. That's total bullshit and you know it. Come on, there's nobody in this dump. Let's get out of here and go to the next town. Hopefully, there's some gas there. I pity whoever stops in this hellhole. <laughs> uh.